more Mago. Even at full attack level, it takes two hits to defeat them, and their erratic movement makes them infuriating. It now takes only 11 hits to kill a bubble bubble. Not that it's usually worth the effort, even at this point. Feels good to destroy an Iron Knuckle with only one hit. Admittedly, I wouldn't have known I could walk through this wall had I not seen it in one of the myriad game magazines that ran rampant in the late 80s. The only reason I bother with most of the Mago is because I have to come back this way and I don't want to deal with them on the return trip. Talk about an out-of-the-way key. This is where my blood really starts to boil. This corridor puts together three Mago and an infinite number of Garjectals. If you can get through this hall without taking damage, you are insane.
after that, a couple of iron knuckles is a breeze. Another item with very limited use, for which I just slaughtered a palace full of monsters. And I'm still not done! Now it's another hall full of Mago and Bubbles. Can this place get any more fun? couple more iron knuckles. No sweat, right? I don't even need to fight the one on top of the bricks. But I will anyway. Now for the fifth boss, Armed Troll Guma. Again, my understanding is that this enemy isn't in the Japanese game. Instead, that one has the two-helmeted germ offensor I fought back in Midoro Palace. This guy isn't too difficult, but he can be very damaging. Eh, 
And now I'll go back and top off my experience points instead of wasting this crystal for 106. All levels are maxed out now. When I gain another level, I get an extra life. I'm not a fan of this area. There are Lizalfos hiding behind the fence that throw rocks with distressing accuracy, as well as a spear-wielding Lizalfos. And this is only one of three fence areas here. This middle one has a basilisk in it, which I don't even bother trying to kill. If all those Lizalfos weren't enough, the woods here are positively choked with them, as well as dealers dropping on my head. <laughs> 